Hex it's Tom here and welcome back to SP Team Reach the One Slot Challenge. I have two things to say. One, it's still really hot. It's even hotter than it was last time I recorded. And two, I kind of fucked up. But we did a vote and people said just finish the run anyway because realistically it didn't really make that much of a difference. Because the only difference that it would have made with the hazmat suit is that I would have dropped the card and then picked it up. Which really adds no extra difficulty. So people are okay. Well, some people weren't. The hell was that? Oh, it's Bellboy. But, you know, the majority of people, I think it was like 98% or 88, something like that. I don't know. But it was the majority by a lot said just finish the run. So, we're going to make our way around. We're going to look for the exit. This could be a really short episode. If it's really, really short when I uh, manage to find one of the exits, then I'll probably go around and try to find both exits and do both endings in one video. Because it's been a little while since we've done that kind of thing. So, we might as well do it. Why not? There's, there, what's the harm? What is the harm, you know? So, here we are. Explore closing doors pretending we didn't see things to be honest. All right. No, it's fine. All right. It's fine peanut boy Isn't an issue, right? We're gonna back up slow All right, we're gonna charge our real smooth and we're gonna leave. All right, so it turns out We uh, can I go in there we go <laughs> Okay, turns out we found it pretty quick and this is gate B, I think. So, we're going to make our way out of gate B, and then I guess I'll go find gate A, because this was exceedingly fast. And then, obviously, if gate A ends up taking too long, then we'll just consider it done. Also, I probably should have saved before, but oh well, it doesn't matter too much. I imagine... We're not injured, are we? No. I remember having some trouble with this bit. Um, with, the, with the soldier up on the roof. I don't remember if you're supposed to just run for it and hope he misses, or if you're supposed to walk slow. So, I guess we'll figure it out. We'll give it. We'll walk nice and slow. We'll stick to the wall, and we'll see what happens. Oh, she's okay. Right, that obviously did not work. <laughs> Maybe I'm supposed to crouch. I don't remember. Oh god. Okay. Right. This time, I'm gonna save before we go out of that door, so that it's, we don't have to mess around running all the way back every time. Oh my god, he got me. Again. Look at that. Look at him, just sitting there. Thinks he's cool. Right, well, it looks like this could end up taking... This is not the right way. <laughs> I did it again. <laughs> this could end up taking longer than I thought. Why are you here this time? Oh, no. Don't ruin this for me. Why do you have to do this? Why? All right, we're having a nice time without any diseases. And then you have to turn up and be all like, Oh, you've got one. And I'm like, well, I didn't even know that. And then you kill me. All right, anyway. Don't worry about him. He's gone. He's gone. He's not going to come back. And if he does, well then, we're dead. But anyway, it doesn't matter because we're here once again. Gate B, on our way. So I can't remember the strategy for this dude. I don't know if you're supposed to just sprint, if you're supposed to crouch. I know the helicopter can see you sometimes, but that wasn't really an issue. You know, this, I didn't save. Oh, no, wait, I saved in the office just now. Never mind. Never mind. We did save. All right, so if we just, I think you're supposed to just walk along here because then by the time you get there the uh, the helicopters kind of circled around a little bit so that's okay and then I believe we should just sprint and possibly zigzag the helicopter has spotted us apparently don't know how but it has that's the one thing that annoys me about the endings I feel like the endings were done a long time ago and never touched again <laughs> Because, like, where the fuck was that helicopter? I couldn't even hear it. And it saw me. You know what? Let's just go. Oh. 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 No. This is the end. We have no mask for unlimited sprint. Oh, no. Alright. This is going to be bad. And maybe the whole episode will be me trying to avoid this one man. I don't know. I can't say for sure. But one thing is for sure. We're going to get this done one way or another. All right, you know what? Let's save here. Cut even more running around out. Oh, God. Okay, we got this. We've got it. Don't even worry about it. I think zigzagging is the strategy, but we ran out of sprint. Obviously, we don't have the gas mask to help us in that regard, but, you know, I'm trying to remember where you can go before it counts as, like, the helicopter being able to see you. So, I'm going to stop here and just wait. Okay, I can't hear the helicopter at all. I'm going to assume that means we can go. It probably doesn't. But here we are. 
Right, as soon as we hit this lion, we're going to bomb it. Come on. Let's go, gamers. We did it. All right, turns out he can't hit you if you're sprinting like an absolute madman and zigzag inside. He's like a crocodile. If you zigzag, they can't get you. I don't know if that's true. I've just heard it before. 682 is about to boot off. Slap a helicopter out the sky. It's going to be crazy. All right, it's going to be nutty. Let's have a peek. Have a little drink, why not? And there it goes. I think I might have looked away just as he swung it, but it's okay. It doesn't matter, right? This is it. This is the ending. There's nothing for us to do. We can read this. It just tells us that we're fucked, which we knew already. <laughs> we didn't turn off the bombs. Well. <laughs> we didn't turn off the bombs, boys. So, this is the end. Code red. Is that the code for nukes? I don't know. DEFCON zero? I don't know how it works. I don't know if it's the higher the number is worse. I don't know. But what I do know is we're about to be turned into dust. And it's going to be great and probably really bright. So if you're laying in bed watching this at night, I suggest you possibly might want to close your eyes in a couple of seconds. Any sec. There we go. Oh, look at that pure white screen. Just burning your retinas to pieces. Late at night. Laying in bed. And you're blind now. I'm sorry. Just listen to the sound of my voice. There we go. We did it. The one slot challenge kind of complete. Forgot about the scream at the end. They're dead. You should just assume they're dead, my friend. Alright, 11 achievements. Obviously, we weren't really going for achievements, so whatever, we refined one item because we were only allowed one item. Documents discovered 3 out of 57. It was all good. All right. It was all good. We found 89 out of 112 rooms. That's fantastic. We did it. We almost went everywhere. No wonder we made it out. So there you go. That is the one slot challenge. We're only at 8 minutes. So I might as well try and find gate A uh, while we're here. I'll let the credits roll on the next one. Uh, well, not new game. But yeah, there you go. There's gate B. We haven't seen that in a while, especially with a challenge. I know that some people were like, oh, well, technically, uh, you picked up the hazmat suit, so uh, you failed the one-slot challenge. But let's be real. Me dropping the card on the floor to pick up the hazmat suit adds no challenge. All that does is waste three seconds of me putting the card on the floor. Picking up the hazmat suit uh, does not give me an advantage because you don't go anywhere with it. You pick up the hazmat suit and you use it in the room that you pick it up in, you know? So it's not really an advantage. Like, with the med kits and stuff, I'd have to drop the card and use it there and then because I wouldn't want to carry it around with me because that's what you would normally do. But the hazmat suit, you don't... It doesn't leave that room. You put it on in that room, you you shut the valve, you take it off in that room. You never take it anywhere. It's not used anywhere else in the game. At least I don't anyway. So I think it still counts. If you don't, that's fine. You're entitled to your opinion. But I did a vote, and people voted that I should finish the run, so... We did exactly that, and now we're gonna fucking die! Okay, let's go this way. Please don't be sold. Let's go this way. Let's go this way! Let's go this way! Let's go this way! There we go. Just the way I wanted to go. Alright, I don't know where the soldiers... Soldier... Uh oh, I pressed F4. Is everything still recording? We're good? Uh, this means we're still recording. If I do this... That's the all-clear signal, probably. Alright, yeah, I don't know where the soldiers are. Uh, we can't go that way. I haven't got the key to the forest, because... One slot challenge. But, where we possibly will find gate A is right through this door right here. Okay, I was wrong. I was hoping it'd be right, and then I could go, Oh, wow, I'm psychic or something. But no, we, we, we were just wrong. Which is why... I <gasps> oh, that's not gate A. I saw the red and got excited. It's not gate A. Oh, this man just won't leave me alone. Stop it. Open. Okay, we've got one of these rooms. Oh, oh, he's in here. I can hear him. Where's he at? Oh, there he is, boys. We found him. He discovered us. We discovered him. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. On my absolute toastiest toast for breakfast. We're going to fucking die. Where are the stairs, please? Oh, we missed. We missed. 
We missed. We missed the stairs. Okay, we're fine. What the hell are they doing? Let me up the stairs. Oh, God. Okay. We did it. We made it. We're all good. We're safe. As safe as you can be in this situation. Wait, what are these? Okay, so it's 049. I thought it was soldiers. Oh, my God. It's Eric. Eric's toy or whatever. I don't care what you're called. Just don't be loud. Oh, God. Why has everything gone dark? Does he do that? I don't remember him doing that. Oh, we're going to get blasted. Huh. Has he made it up? He made it! His pathfinding is incredible. Oh my god. He made it through. Oh, you little shit. Now I'm deaf. I don't know. I don't know if 049's near me. I don't know if the soldiers are near me. I have gone deaf. Like, not in real life. That would be a very bad. But, I mean, in the game, I now have no audio and therefore no idea where 049 is. God. Okay. Does your sound come back eventually? I don't remember. Oh, no. All right. The soldiers will now know where we are because we just went past the camera. This is very weird about sound. Normally, I would save and just reload, but I thought I would experience the deafness for once. It's actually quite unsettling. But here we are. Oh! Our sound came back just in time for gate A. Look at that. Gamers. There we go. We experienced the true deafness. It was a gamer moment. But you were there. You've witnessed history in the making. Because no one else has ever done a one slot challenge. Don't go don't search for it. Because you'll find it. But it was just me in a different person's body. Did we contain Oh, we contained 106, so we're gonna get captured. Um shit. Alright, well we're not gonna be able to get the chaos ending because I forgot about 106. Needed to be out. Can we hide? Stop right nope. <laughs> Stop right there, criminal scum. Well, I forgot about that. We, there's no way around that when without 106. But either way you get caught, it's just, you know, either by the chaos insurgency or these guys. But there you go. There's both endings. It's a bit of a shorter video today because this is the end of the challenge. But you guys said that if I am going to finish it and it is short, do both endings. So I did. Yep, that's me. I have. We should. We, honestly, at this point, we should. So in case you didn't get that, because it's kind of fuzzy, basically he was saying uh, the escapee shows knowledge of even the most impossible situations and basically they're going to determine whether or not I'm an SCP. So there we go. Pretty much at this point, we would be, because to, from their perspective, I just escaped with nothing but a single keycard. I mean, it was the best keycard, but we had nothing else. So, there you go. The one slot challenge officially done with both endings. I am sorry if we don't think it was legit because of the hazmat suit, but like I said, it, it's kind of... The hazmat suit doesn't leave that room. You put it on, you shut a valve, you take it off in the same room. So me dropping the card on the floor, yes, that would have technically been what I should have you know, done for the challenge, but at the same time, it doesn't add any difficulty. By dropping that card on the floor, it's no different, you know? It, it literally adds no difficulty by doing that. It's not like with a, a med kit where, you know, I'm injured, so I'd need to find a med kit, drop the card, pick it up, use it there and then, because I'm not allowed to take it with me, and obviously I can't leave the card behind. That's completely different. But either way, like I say, if you don't think that this was the, you know, I, I fucked up and I failed, you're entitled to that. But personally, I'm going to say that I did it. And because the vote came through as like 88% in favor of like just finish the run, it doesn't matter. I'm going to consider it a win. Okay, I'm going to take the W. And if you don't like that, well, I guess you could press dislike. But then I'll be very sad. So it's up to you. Do you want to make me sad? Because I would. Anyway, <laughs> there you go. One slot challenge done. And just in general, we beat the game. We beat the base game. In... A long, the first time in a long time, not the first time, but 
It's been a while, is what I'm trying to say. But English is not apparently my best language, even though it's my only language. But there you go. So that's, that's going to be that. If you have any other challenges you want to see me do in SCP, please do let me know because I, I, need, some, I need some ideas. I'm running out. No, but uh, yeah, it, just any challenges for the base game. Uh, I would say in mods, but that can be a bit weird, especially that Ultimate Edition has got so much extra stuff in it. So just probably stick to the base game if you want challenges. Uh, if there are any new mods that I haven't heard of, Obviously, feel free to let me know. I mean, are there any old mods that I haven't uh, accidentally, you know, I missed one. But I don't know. My point is, if you have any suggestions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. But that is going to be it for now for the One Slot Challenge because we did it. We're gamers. You're gamers. We're all gamers together. All right. So just remember that when you consider whether you're going to smash like or dislike. So that is going to be it for today. So, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, my little comment down below. Subscribe to the channel for more videos. And that stuff is massively appreciated. As always, I'll see you in the next video. And goodbye.